progress. This week, as thunder stirs beneath the wind, the forces of growth surge forward. It's a moment of action where steady progress and bold decisions can spark powerful change. Let's harness this energy to unlock new opportunities and elevate our path to success. This week's current situation reveals the insight of increasing. This powerful energy signifies growth and opportunity. As we move through this period of expansion, it's essential to remain grounded in integrity and be open to receiving support from others, nurturing not only our growth, but also those around us. Let's explore the lessons of this week's wisdom and see how we can harness the power of synergy, resilience, truthfulness to foster sustainable success. The current situation for this week is one of increasing. This insight embodies growth, opportunity and improvement. It speaks to a time when through humility and self-awareness, we can gain what we need to by supporting others and working in harmony with those around us. Increasing is about receiving benefit and sharing them with others. Wind over thunder creates an image of mutual support and powerful energy moving forward. When we support others, we also increase our own chances for success. This is a time of amplification where even small efforts can lead to significant gains. For this week, we are portrayed as the dynamic and arousing force of thunder. This represents an inner energy which is active, powerful, and ready to initiate change. Thunder is a symbol of excitement and movement, urging us to take action, whether it's pursuing personal growth or professional endeavors. The key to success this week is embracing our inner strength and using it to move forward. The external environment this week is represented by wind, symbolizing gentleness, influence, and steady progress. Wind works gently by powerfully moving through spaces and reaching places where other elements cannot. This suggests that the world around us is ready to offer opportunities if we approach situations with flexibility and openness. Just as wind flows and adapts, so must we remain receptive and adaptable to the changes of our surroundings. However, there is a word of caution. This great energy and movement comes with a need for balance. Avoid overextending or taking on too much at once. While the potential for growth is immense, steady and thoughtful action will yield the most lasting results. An example of increasing might be a business owner who, after making a modest investment, sees rapid growth in their customer base. By remaining humble and focusing on providing genuine value, they increase not only their profits but also their reputation. Alternatively, a community leader who empowers others to take part in decision-making finds that their influence grows exponentially because they've created a supportive and thriving environment. The underlying influence for this week is falling away. While we are in a phase of increase, it is crucial to recognize areas of life that may be in decline or need attention. This influence reminds us to be aware of habits or situations that could hinder our growth. As we focus on expansion, we must also be prepared to let go of outdated practices or beliefs that no longer serve us. In business and professional life, the key to success this week lies in collaboration and shared goals. The energy of increasing suggests that by helping others and providing support, we also benefit. This is a great time to invest in partnerships, team projects, or mentoring opportunities. For example, a consultant who works closely with a client to achieve their objectives will find that both parties grow and prosper. To avoid disruption, it's essential to maintain integrity and stay true to your values. Growth should be balanced with thoughtful consideration of the impact on others. Be aware of overreaching. While the potential for success is high, humility and mindfulness will prevent setbacks. In personal and family life, this week's insight encourages nurturing relationships and fostering a sense of family or community. Small acts of kindness and support can lead to deeper connections. A family member who regularly listens or offers guidance without judgment will see their relationships grow stronger. It is also a time to be open to receiving help. Just as we 
give, we must also be willing to accept support from others, whether it's advice from a friend or assistance from a loved one. Embracing the give and receive dynamic will lead to increasing harmony in relationships. The energy of increasing brings opportunity for growth and improvement, but it requires balance, integrity, and a willingness to help others. As we move through this week, let's focus on the mutual benefits of collaboration, to be open to change and nurture both ourselves and those around us. By doing so, we can achieve sustainable success and foster a positive environment for growth. Thank you for joining me for this week's episode of Oracular Wisdom, I Ching for the Modern World. If you are interested in a more personalized consultation, please visit davidmarkquigley.com. I look forward to sharing more insights with you next week.